Here are some specific examples of the restoration of endangered species. This is the peregrine falcon, or our duck hawk, which uh, is until recently a very successful bird. It lived in every continent, only a few island areas it hadn't reached. It's one of the fastest of birds and one of the most spectacular flyers. In the 50s, they began to experience a severe population decline, both in Europe and the United States. And by the early 60s, they had become extinct in the eastern United States. And in California here, where we originally had 100 pairs, they were down to only two or three known pairs by the early part of the 60s. Some people were very concerned about them, particularly falconers who like to hunt with them. They're very spectacular birds to, uh, to train and fly. And some of these people had developed techniques for breeding them in captivity. And so by the 70s, uh, largely through private contributions and a certain amount of government support, the Peregrine Foundation had begun to breed and release hundreds of peregrines in the east and also out west here. And by uh, the last few years, many of these peregrines have been released, came back to the new areas and started raising young. So that each, each year now, their numbers have increased. And they're not up to the pre-DDT level. Uh, but they're, they're rapidly reaching it. DDT was banned in the early 70s in the United States, although it's still used very widely in the tropical world. And it was banned in Europe not too long after that. And after the banning of DDT, a lot of the birds of prey that had been reduced to very low numbers began to recover. So the, the peregrines made a big comeback in England and uh, continental Europe without artificial propagation. There are now over a thousand pairs in England alone. Uh, so it's probable that in the United States they might have recovered, but it would take a long time for them to occupy those big areas of the East Coast that they totally disappeared in.